Hi everyone there. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, although I'm used to <laughs> talking in front of uh, people, in front of uh, kids, in front of players. But still, it's something that I'm not doing every day. And when I see so many faces, young faces, I'm getting a bit nervous. But I'm, uh, I'm so happy to be here and I hope uh, uh, you, you're going to be able to understand me and uh, <laughs> you're going to uh, put me some, uh, some interesting questions, which I'm sure you're going to, you prepared for me. And uh, I hope I'm going to be useful on answering uh, with the proper answer. It's not easy, but uh, I will do my best. So uh, have fun. Let's uh, cut the, the, the emotions and uh, just be like uh, we are normally with friends, with family. Because uh, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you guys. My question is, do you have a special routine or superstition before a big game? Yeah. When I used to play, I said my superstition is that I don't talk about them. Uh, but <laughs> I, I never had something special. You know, when, when you work hard every day, when you work hard every week, I think your, your main concern is not uh, being weak or being afraid on, uh, on uh, playing. Because uh, it's what you do every day, is what you work for every day. So when you work hard and you, you, you know that you're strong enough and you're ready physically and mentally uh, for a game, then you don't need a superstition. It looks like, it seems like uh, you're weak, no? Because if you, before a game, if you leave other thoughts, uh, I don't know, that negative thoughts in your head, then you're gonna have a problem. So you just have to trust the work you've done during the week the work you've done during the, the years, and uh, it's not that you go and do something else, it's something that you do uh, forever. You work on it forever. You know how to kick a ball, you know how to pass a ball, you know how to mark a man, you know how to score a goal. Then, of course, there are many situations during the game that counts, but uh, at least when you're able to, to work hard every day, uh, before the game, you're not gonna be afraid of anything. Yes, my question is, what was your average training time when you were younger? Training time? My average training time. You are now? Yes. 13. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a very nice age. When I was 13, what did I do? Oh, it was like so long. It's a long time ago. I don't remember. You know, we didn't have the, the infrastructure that you have now, right? We didn't have the pitch, we didn't have the dressing room. So we had to get dressed, prepared. Everything was, was like that. Uh, but we had passion. And I think that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter where you play, where you train. It doesn't matter how you go for training. Important is that you, you have uh, passion for the game and that you are willing on, on learning every day something new. And if you don't learn every day something new, then you have to, to, to improve whatever you know uh, and what you have learned so far. Uh, let's say, yeah, we train once a week, no, once, once every day for five days a week. And uh, we had the game on Sunday. So Monday till Friday, we had the game. Uh, we had the training and then we were like uh, playing on Sunday. The average time was like two hours, but that two hours were not the most important thing for us because we finished the training uh, with all our colleagues. But then we had, to, we, we had the possibility to play with our friends. So I was home, I finished the training, I went home, I took a shower. I changed my clothes and I went back uh, in a courtyard with my friends to play more and more. Because the most important thing is, instead of now you have PlayStation, you have all of these devices, uh, social media and whatever, which are uh, break you on, uh, on going out and playing more. The most important thing at your age, guys, is to, to, to touch the ball as many hours as possible and uh, I think two hours uh, training is not enough 
you 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 need to 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 play more and more and more develop your imagination trying to to rehearsal all the the skills that your coach are, is teaching you trying to rehearsal i don't know all the skills that you see whatever your favorite player is messi ronaldo or who it is but just try to copy copying is not bad it makes you uh, uh, have makes you have a lot of passion and makes you improve your skills which at one point in your career sooner or later is going to be very useful so it doesn't matter you train in, with with uh, with the group you train with your team but the most important thing is that you you do by yourself with your friends at home as well something so always have the ball and always try to 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 fall in love with the ball Excellent. Thank you, Christian. We have found Nicholas, so we'll go back to uh, Nicholas for his question. Uh, hi. Um, what's the biggest sacrifice you've ever uh, done to become a pro player? The biggest sacrifice? Oh, uh, you know, when you play football, you don't do sacrifices. Uh, when you have passion in, in whatever you do, there is no sacrifice that can stand for it. Uh, yeah, I give up on many things, probably, but it wasn't a sacrifice. So sacrifice means that you have to, I don't know, uh, lose something. You have to, to, to not be able on doing things other than other kids are doing or other friends of you are doing. But I, I was not interested in that because I have my own goals to, 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 to reach. And uh, yeah, I give up on many things, but I didn't make sacrifices. Uh, I think that's, that's the, the point and how you sh guys should see playing soccer. Just give up on something, uh, but there is no sacrifice that will stand for it. Because sacrifices, I, in my opinion, is when you wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and you go and work for 12 hours. But when you, uh, that's, that's a sacrifice that you do. And probably you don't like it. Uh, but you have to because you have a family, you have kids that you have to support. So that's a sacrifice. But to, for you that you're doing whatever you love and you do it for so many for little hours, uh, it's like two, three, four, four hours a day. When you're professional, you work maybe five or six. But it's, it's nothing compared with, with, uh, with some other people that they really have to sacrifice in order to... to, 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 to uh, keep uh, their family safe. So when you have passion, there is no sacrifice will stand for it. It's just giving up, loving what you do, and work hard for it. It's, uh, football player life is short, right? The average when you when you when you stop playing is like 35. If you're lucky, I was not lucky. I stopped at 33. Uh, some some players are going and play till 40. But it's a, such a short period and time is flying, guys. It's flying so fast. You're here, you're 18. Uh, I don't know, you played maybe your first game for the national team and after uh, 10 years, which seems like two, you have to say stop. Uh, and time is, is going and it's flying, it's going away. So it's not a sacrifice. You have, you have, uh, you have time to enjoy life afterwards, but for that, you, you need to, to work hard. You need to, 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 to work in order to reach your goals. And you need to have passion for it. That's the most important thing. I, I, I think I said passion like 10, 20 times already. And probably till the end of, the, of our meeting, I'm going to say it more because the passion is the one that makes the difference. Okay, thank you, Christian. Our next uh, question will come from uh, a player that has a lot of passion. It's Matteo Banak, uh, under 10 player. My question is, do you have any, do you have any advice for inter-academy Toronto players who wish to continue in your footsteps? Uh, my advice is, first of all, listen to your coaches, listen to your parents. Because uh, there are so many things that you have to learn in your, in, in your life, especially at this age. There are values that your parents are trying to teach you. There are values and what hard work, hard work meaning is with your coaches. So that's the most important thing that you have to, 
to 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 learn and uh, when whenever they said something try to listen try to understand uh, and to keep it somewhere safe in a in a in a cassette where you lock it and probably later in your life you're going to use it because it was good advice because they love you because they want to 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 teach you what life is it's not only about football but it's 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 about life it's about you growing up as an adult uh, as a good human being as a good person able to 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 take care of himself and to take care of his family so uh, my advice regardless uh, soccer is work hard work hard and believe that you're going to make it but the, the 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 secret is to work to work and work and then probably when you have the passion when you have the culture of working you're going to you're going to learn how to to uh, how do you call it in english uh, the autocritics, you know, the autocritics will help you improve because you're not going to be happy with whatever you do because you want more, more and more and more. Never be, never be uh, put, I don't know, probably Sunday you score a nice goal, right? I hope so, uh, when, you, when you're going to play. In that Sunday, Monday, you don't have to be happy with that. You have to be, you, that you have to be mad at you that you score only one goal, that you want more and more and more. But in order to score two goals the next Sunday, that week, you have to work harder and harder and harder. So you have to always set up small goals that it's a short term from Sunday till Sunday in order to, to achieve the big goals that you have. Probably, I don't know, you want to be a professional soccer player, you want to play for the national team. But in order to do that, you have to, to, to achieve the, 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 the uh, short-term goals in improving every day, working hard to improve every day. And when you do that, for sure, on Sunday or whenever you play, you're going to have a good game. Because when you train good, it's impossible that you play bad. Probably it's going to happen one, one week, but the next week is going to be better. And you're going to play... You, you, you're going to play much better. We always said that you play as you train. If you train bad during the week, it's, it's, it's for sure on Sunday you're going to play bad. But if you train good, you have many chances that you're going to be man of the match. Um, what do you look for in a young player when you coach him? What do I look? Oh, I, I look on improving him. Uh, you know, working with, with you guys uh, at your age and even a little bit older, it's, it's all about improvement, individual improvement. And uh, in order to, that you are ready when probably you're going to be 18, I need you to teach you all the skills and whatever was my experience or what, whatever I think it needed to be known by you to be ready uh, when, when your time is coming. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking to improve, but most of it, I want to, to teach my players uh, what hard working means and uh, how how important it is to to work hard. How important it is to be able to, uh, as I said before, to not be happy with what you have and what you know. That you always to 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 be eager to learn more and to want it more. It's not selfish. These things. It's just something that. Will, will help you uh, becoming better, a better person, a better, a better football player. Not, not being happy with what you have and what you know will make you want it more and more and more all the time. And it will make you keep on, uh, will con you will continue on working hard because you will, you will always want more. And then it's the power of decision, is the mental that is very important in, in a game like soccer. Uh, is the thinking fast it's 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 all about intensity it's all about uh, you know i try to teach you on uh, I, tr I try to improve you as a as an individual but in the same time you need to to do that in a, in a, in a team in a group with other players that you need to 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 share a dressing room to share a, a, a bus to share a, i don't know whatever whatever you have to share so it's, it's, it's a very important task. It's, 
uh, for, for us coaches, especially with you guys. And I know sometimes you look at us when we are talking and say, what are you saying here? Just give me the ball and shut up. I know it's, it's that you, sometimes you do that. But for us, it's important to, to offer you some, some more information, some more values that probably in your life, maybe if not in five, if not in 10, but maybe in 20 years will be helpful. And probably you're going to remember, hey, these things is my coach when I, was, when I was 13, 14 that he told me and he was right. Because it's always about uh, you, you guys, young kids are judging us now. You know, what do you know? Like you say, what do you know? You teach me, but what do you know? I know better. And probably when you're going to be our age, when you're going to be 30, even earlier, you're going to say, hey, he was right. Because now... You think you know everything, but you don't know anything, trust me. And uh, you're going to come back to our words when you, you're going to be a grow up, probably you're going to have a family, you're going to have kids. And uh, our advice is they will come back. And if, if that happened, for us, it's a big achievement. It means that we work good with you guys. So, <laughs> so that's why we keep on talking with you, keep on telling you things that probably in 20, 15, 10 years, uh, you will remember us for, for these words. Uh, my question is, what is your favorite memory from playing pro? What is my favorite memory of playing pro? Every day that I spend in playing pro, it's, 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 it was important for me. I don't know, during your life, during your career, you have up and downs, right? Let's say I finished my career with 13 injury, uh, operations. So, uh, I don't know, you were up, then you got an injury, then you have to do a surgery, and you're down again, but you, have, you need to have the power to, to, to go up again. And I, I did that, and, and that, that makes you, I don't know, stronger, it makes you a better person. It makes you, everything is better because you have a, a, an important responsibility and probably in my career was a new goal. A new goal in order to, to come back stronger than, than I used to be, stronger than I was before the, this uh, operation, this surgery. So for me, it was, was, was always something that I uh, hanged and I try even in the negative uh, situation to find, to find solution and to find something positive that, that will put me again on, on top. And uh, that's challenging. And uh, I think that's, that's important when you have the competition inside you. When you, you have a competition with yourself, you have a competition with destiny, you have a competition with, uh, with your colleagues, you have a competition with other teams. It makes you stronger, and uh, as a, as a, I don't know, all the trophies that I won, uh, all the trophies that I won, all the, 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 the even the second places <laughs> that I reached, the final I lost, uh, that makes you better. It makes you better. It doesn't matter. Of course, every everyone is willing on winning, and uh, everyone wants a cup. Everyone wants a medal. Everyone wants to, to win, but that's not possible. And you have to. You have to learn even to, to how to lose because it's important in life. In life, you cannot win in every, everything and any time. Sometimes you lose, but it's important how you react. It's important how you, you get over your situation, your problem, your issue. And uh, you, the next day, you have to be stronger mentally. You have to be with more uh, anger uh, inside that uh, in order to, to achieve something more important that probably you lost the day before. So every, make every moment you have special because, because it is special in winning, in losing, in, 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 in everything. Thank you. Say when you lose, you learn. You know? When you lose, you learn. So even if you learn, important is when you win to learn that you were, you were not perfect. Because it's easy when you win to probably relax a little bit, just be happy, and maybe you forgot how to work. You, you lose a little bit of humble. You know, being humble and staying with your feet on the ground and working hard, it's important. So when you lose, you're sad. Then you learn from it. But it's important even when you win to learn something from it. And the, the most important advice is to stay humble.
Well, thank you so much. I wish you all the best in your life. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.